You know, the pint, the six pints and everything else to fill a gap that I didn't know I was missing. But I used to rest on that. I used to run to that. That was my quiet time. And you say, well, you know, uh, you know, it's on the internet. Why do they put it on the internet if, if I'm not allowed to watch it? Well, you have a choice to make. You have a choice to make. And I was addicted by that. It was controlling me. And listen, if any one of you here I'm speaking to this morning, I'm speaking to my brother. I'm speaking to you as my brother. I'm speaking to you as my sister. I'm speaking to you as my mother. I'm speaking to you as my father. Addiction, if you're troubled by any kind of addiction, you know it has control over you. And I came to the realization when the Lord saved me that He was in control of my spirit. He was the leader of my spirit. That's where I was. There's many other things as well. Uh, I have stolen things in the past as a younger man. I stole some things. I thought I would profit by them. You know, I would gain. No, what it did, it put a stone on my shoulder. I had to carry that guilt around. How many times have you stolen something? How many lies have you told? Listen, I'm worse than you. I am worse than anyone in Wellington Town this morning. I, treat, I looked at myself as the chief of sinners. Well, I looked in the mirror. I couldn't deny who I really was and what I was doing. And what happened one day? The Lord really convicted me. I needed, I realized, the Lord put it on my heart that I needed to accept that He was right and I was wrong. Oh, that was the best day of my life when I accepted He was right and I was wrong. It freed me. It was the beginning of freedom. You know, there's a little story. I know you say to yourself, I've been there, so I know what you're thinking now. You're thinking, I'm a good person, as my sister said. I'm a good person. You know, I helped that lady the other week, and I did this and did that. But there's a story. There's a story. A little girl was once watching sheep. Now, this county is beautiful. I came up from the south. Uh, 30 years ago to live in this county because I loved it. I love the county. I love the country. And this little girl was once watching sheep grazing on a hillside. Can you picture that? You know what it looks like. All those white sheep against that green pasture. It looks beautiful. But then it began to, it began to snow on that hillside. It started to snow. 
And all of a sudden, when she was looking at the sheep on the hillside, the sheep now looked dirty against that white snow. Can you see that? It was the same sheep, but with a different background. So I you see, what you're doing is you're judging yourself against another person. And it's like those sheep who were judging themselves against the green pasture. Thank you for listening.